Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. So recently I've been moving home, as some of you may know. And of course, in the new place, we had to pimp it out with loads of LED light strips, smart bulbs, motion sensors. So let me show you a little bit of what I've done so far over at the bedroom. So at the entrance of the room, you walk in and straight away you're greeted by, of course, a Philips Hue dimmer switch. So behind this is actually the original light switch that of course is just a normal light switch on and off to power the main bulb in here, which is sitting right there in like a mini chandelier type thing. All of this stuff of course works with Apple HomeKit, Siri, and of course your Amazon ALEXA, your Google Home also is compatible. It is a rather expensive system to get set up, mainly because you have to pick up a Philips Hue bridge, which is sitting right here temporarily. And uh, yeah, this will set you back about 50 pound in order to pair up every light strip, every switch, every button to the Philips Hue network instead of it running off of your normal Wi-Fi network. It does result in a super, super stable system and connection across all of your smart home devices. Way more stable than any other company that I've used before, mainly because of that bridge I imagine. All of the lights always stay online through Apple HomeKit. With Philips Hue, it's always reliable. So when I press the Hue button, we actually cycle through a cool white into a very dim, warm white, then a warmer white, a brighter, you know, and then it eventually gets to like a super cool white that's mega bright. You can also, of course, increase the brightness, decrease the brightness via this remote. And the way I've set this one up is the Hue button only controls the main bulb, but the power button actually turns everything off just like that. And when you turn it back on, everything goes back to its previous state, which is what I've configured all these lights to do. If you're looking to set up a smart bulb for your bedroom, like the main bulb in your bedroom, would highly recommend you get a Philips Hue one, mainly because you can set up an actual smart remote that, you know, when you turn this off, it also updates, say on Apple HomeKit, that the device has turned off. And when you turn it back on, it also updates on Apple HomeKit that it's been turned on. It's an awesome system. Again, expensive to set up and get up and running in the ecosystem of Philips Hue, but damn is it good. And uh, over here we have a bit of a walk-in wardrobe with a Philips Hue motion sensor set up that I've just triggered right there. I've set it up so after one minute, just to save power because you don't really always need light inside of there, after one minute the lights turn off. So right here we have the actual plug that the LED light strip in there is powered by. This at the moment just runs through the actual door. It, it's a bit of a dodgy setup. There's been minimal cable management done. I've just brought all my cable management stuff over, including all my cable trunking. So I basically have to run cable trunking all over this place. Probably put a little bit of a hole through the wall to actually run that Philips Hue power cable through. We're gonna get there. We're gonna pimp this place out even further in the future. This is sort of just the beginning stages of the smart bedroom with all the smart gadgets and stuff. But over here, if we walk in, we have a Philips Hue motion sensor sitting right here on a magnet. So that just sits there. And when you open the wardrobe, it turns the lights on, which the lights are located right above here right above the doorway, just a Philips Hue light strip cut to size. We have the Dyson fan here, and of course the cable management police, the robot's vacuum cleaner. If you leave any cables on the floor, this thing will eat all of them and get itself stuck, but it will also entertain all of your pets. Your cats will probably chase this vacuum cleaner around and follow it around the house. The dogs will probably be scared of it, or they won't care at all. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's an awesome thing. Would highly recommend you get a robot vacuum cleaner. This one vacuums and mops for you as well. It's awesome, it's from Ecovac. So I'll leave the link to the vacuum cleaner and everything in today's video in the video description down below to where you can buy the product yourself if you're interested. Pretty much every day there's cats or dogs running around here. And uh, of course there's dog hair and cat hair and you know, just dirt everywhere on the floor all the time. So having this thing set up on a schedule to just vacuum around for you in the morning and at night, say midday as well. Oh, it's just a lifesaver. It saves so much time. Moving on to this part of the room, we have of course the actual bed, the bed frame, some storage shelves here and over there as well. Philips Hue light strips. There's a two meter one mounted top to bottom behind that one. It just adds some nice ambient lighting behind it there, makes everything shine. Of course, the Philips Hue bulb in the bedside table and another Philips Hue LED light strip right behind the bed frame there as well. 
just adds a nice glow behind the actual bed. We have a projector there that shines a big image on this wall right here. It's awesome from BenQ. That thing does an incredible job. It's almost too overkill. You know, maybe something I can make a video about in the future if you guys are interested. It's like a gaming projector that's right now just being used for like Netflix and Amazon Prime and all this. If you end up building a similar LED lighting setup in your own home using multiple Philips Hue light strips and Philips Hue bulbs, you can set up all sorts of scenes throughout your room to all change color at the same time and do all sorts of cool things. It really does make for an awesome experience if you do stick to like one company, whether it's Philips Hue, whether it's Govi, and you just use one app, I suppose. It just makes life easier as well, especially if you're on an Android phone and you don't care about Apple HomeKit support, then Philips Hue might not be the number one company to go for. But uh, overall, just the, the dimmer switches and all this, they really do complete the whole smart home experience because you can also pick up even more smart home control. So by each bedside table, we have a Philips Hue smart button. So this also turns all the lights on and off, but it also cycles through the warm whites, the cool whites and all this. It's a pretty cool system. Although the way I've configured mine is, uh, <laughs> I think I've misconfigured it because it turned off everything and just kept the bulb on afterwards. So since today's video is sponsored by a mattress company called Hygrid Sleep, they've actually sent us an entire mattress for today's video to pimp out the bedroom. Oh, was your mattress this heavy as well? No. <laughs> nice and easy. <laughs> Don't break the bed. And it's all vacuum sealed, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, okay, right, that's that's moving. There's a little bit here holding it. I think we should push it that way. <laughs> this looks like it's about to flop open. Ta-da! <laughs> Mattress assembled. Oh my god, Em. Oh, it's like a... Wow. Here it is, and this is what it's made up of. I have never in my life felt a mattress like this. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Well, this is one of the layers. Yeah. But wow, it feels crazy, doesn't it? Oh, it feels incredible. Oh, wow. <laughs> and this is comfy. It's, it's any... soft, yet firm. Yeah, you don't sink into it too much. I've never had a premium mattress ever. No, this, is this is my first good mattress. <laughs> I guess just buy a cheap and one and get a good topper. I know. I hope it stays this cool in this cold. Oh my goodness. I love it. I actually, I didn't know how I was going to react because when you buy a mattress online, it's, you've never felt it, you've never laid on it. No, it's not like going to your sofa, to your sofa bed store. This is nice. It has 2,500 air channels to let the air pass through the mattress and just keep you cooler in the night. And uh, so far, it has been lovely. My Aura Ring sleep stats are skyrocketing. And uh, they've instructed us to take an egg that we've actually just harvested. This. Where are the eggs? <laughs> now this telling is... telling me the eggs are up there? <laughs> oh, this is going to be funny. I've got to get up there, yeah. This yeah. looks stable. Yep. Yeah, very... It doesn't wobble at it all. It doesn't wobble at all. Have you done this before? Yep, this is totally 100% safe. It's held in with the grand sum of one nail. We have to risk our life to get this egg. Oh, there's a nail there. <laughs> you have to risk your life. <laughs> egg! I've <laughs> got an egg. There's all these eggies here. And put it inside of like a, a click and seal plastic bag like this and then put the egg on the mattress and, and lay on the egg and step on the egg and it, it shouldn't break. There, 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 we, there, oh no, Jazz. Right, we have an egg here. It's not quite in the center of the mattress. Oh, I, I hate doing this. I don't like the thought of this egg exploding. I hope I've sealed this thing. Oh, oh, oh. oh. is it, is it's, it it's good. It's fine. This mattress. Jazzy looks so concerned. My goodness. Well, all right. You can step on the egg and it survives. But can you lay on the egg? <laughs> 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 I 
Yes, yes you can. Well, um... <laughs> it didn't break! It didn't break! Ow, I, I might break myself. Oh, you did it through one foot. <laughs> Okay. Right, actually, I think this you're gonna break. This cannot be them. a real egg. Oh, look! It is. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a normal egg as well. Look at that. <laughs> it survived me jumping on the egg. Lovely. But you put a hole. Get it out of the way. You put a hole in the bag when you broke it. Do I? Oh, it's leaking. It is leaking. <laughs> the time to dispose of this real quick. There we go. The egg survived everything. Yes. Now I've got some egg juices on my hand. But yeah, shout out to High Grid Sleep for sending over the mattress for us. If you guys want to check out their mattress lineup or buy this exact one that we have here, this is the Premium Hybrid. It's currently on sale for about 45% off, if not even more, if you buy it through my link in the video description down below. Genuinely would highly recommend the mattress. Like I said earlier, had no clue what to expect when the mattress showed up. This is the first one they sent over. It's got a 10 year warranty, a 200 night free trial. So if for whatever reason you're not satisfied with the mattress, you can just send it back and get a refund or swap it out for another one that they have on their website. But this premium hybrid one, I would personally really recommend and vouch for. I like to stay nice and cool during the nighttime. I like to keep the windows open. I like to have the room absolutely freezing. And this mattress really just helps the air breathe through it and does actually result in a cooler sleeping experience where you're not just sweating 24 seven. So yeah, if you like sleeping in a cold environment, this mattress definitely helps you stay cooler in the night and just helps you fall asleep better. But with that all out of the way, that has been the bedroom tour. Like I said, this place is still a bit of a work in progress, still gotta do lots of cable management and perhaps, you know, maybe add a couple more light strips here and there, pimp it out ever so slightly more. But uh, the third episode of the whole moving vlog is gonna be in the living room where of course, you probably guessed it. We're gonna transform the living room from a bog standard one. I do have some before and after videos I can show you as well before we moved all the furniture in. And you'll get to see the transformation of the living room as we pimp it out with some nano leaf lights, some Philips Hue LED light strips underneath the actual TV cabinet. I'll also put some GoV LED light strips behind the actual TV that react to what's actually going on on your TV screen and reflect that color behind your TV, which is awesome. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that one. Episode three should be dropping in the next few days, I imagine. But with all that said, you guys, I'm gonna end today's video here. Thank you very much for watching as always. Make sure you check out the Hybrid Sleep Mattress Company in the video description down below if you wanna level up your sleeping experience and upgrade your mattress to an awesome one like this that I'd highly recommend myself. But yeah, I'll see you guys in episode three. Until then.